So Blackmagic just released a full frame box camera. The box camera that everybody's been waiting for. I was not in the market for another Blackmagic camera. I actually decided on the camera that I wanted to purchase. Uh, something that took me a long time and a lot of cameras to really figure out the camera that I needed for the type of work that I do. Currently, as my active cameras that I use, I have six cameras, three Blackmagic and three Panasonic. I have two Blackmagic 4K studio cameras and, and one uh, board, Ursa Broadcast G2. Two Lumix Panasonic BGH1 box cameras and one cam, uh, Panasonic camcorder, the AG CX350. I was actually leaning towards getting another Panasonic, which is actually going to split the tie between my two cameras, which was the Evo 1. I decided to get Evo 1 because it had everything I needed. It's interchangeable lens, built-in NDs, XLRs, uh, SDI in and out, uh, inbuilt camera stabilization. Uh, it kind of just had everything I wanted. So after deciding the camera that I wanted to get, Blackmagic goes and releases this box camera. Although it's falling short of a lot of the specs that I finally decided that I need, or at least that I want it for my arsenal. All I just went out the window once they released this camera. Because I am now going to get this camera once it comes out. It's half the price of the camera that I want to buy. Even used is still cheaper. Price point is at $3,000. i am looking at the PL mount. That one is thirty, basically $3,200. So that's the one I'm, I'm going to go with. The PL mount. But man. I just had to get on here and just talk about how Blackmagic just flipped the world upside down with this box camera. Now. It doesn't set to release until June, this summer, I believe, but, uh, and I do think that once people actually get their hands on it and be able to, like, actually test the camera out and push it to its limits, we'll really see if it'll, if it'll exceed expectations, maintain expectation, or if it be underwhelming, but, you know, hopefully that it at least, uh, hopefully that it exceeds expectations. After looking at the camera, I'm not going into all of the specs, but, what, what I was looking for in a camera, I just mentioned, I, I did one built-in ND. I'm a handheld shooter, so it, it does help to have that built-in stabilization in camera if, you know, if that's an option. I wish it had built-in NDs, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, and then I thought it only had, uh, when I first was uh, watching the live, I only I only thought that it had a, a standard 3.5 uh, millimeter jack for the audio, but it actually has a mini XLR port which is good because I, I like to have the uh, XLR microphones attached to my camera because the audio sound is just so much better. The only thing I don't like is that it's in the front. So I'm, I'm curious to see how uh, when I do get the camera and I do run that mini XLR to the microphone with that port being in the very front of the camera, you know, hopefully it don't look ugly aesthetic wise. But functionality wise, at least it'll still get some my XLR. So the only thing that it really, that um, I would really, care the most about is the built-in NDs. Those two things that, that I wanted my cameras to have was the built-in NDs for XLR and SDI ins and outs. So with that being said, the camera, the only thing it falls short for me is uh is the built-in NDs. Um, I can I, I can care less about the image stabilization because my BGH ones, my Lumix, they don't have that, and that's what I currently use as my running gun style when I'm rigging out my camera. Some of these frame rates confuse me a little bit, but uh, you know, um, gotta look more into that. So I can't actually wait till you know some different YouTubers get their hands on the camera and start getting some real-world experience with it, so I can have some more research uh, as I move forward before purchasing the camera or maybe if I'm even able to rent it and test it out for myself hoping that this camera isn't you know too heavy because I like to be handheld and once I put a monitor on it and uh, a side handle and a microphone you know it, it's going to add some more weight to it. also um, a v-mail battery so hopefully it's just not too heavy um, I mean I'm pretty sure it's not going to be nowhere near as heavy as that Ursa now, them Ursas are uh, those things are those things are heavy so if it's at least half the way that i'll be very happy but yeah man, i just wanted to come here and just talk about how this camera just i think it just flipped the camera industry upside down with the price point and the form factor being a box so you know I already seen some videos already about people who have uh some red komodos and talking about selling them one thing about black man i can say man they're they going to give you some some decent hardware and software for some affordable prices man that's it for the video i'm checking out i really just wanted to come in and talk about that man if you found this video helpful make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel i'll see you later